Greetings wonderful people, my name is Ivan and today we'll talk about optimizing your games further by preventing code from running every frame. Most game engines have some version of a function that executes pieces of code multiple times per second. If you truly sit down and take a look at your code, most likely you'll be able to find lines that don't really need to be called that often. The aforementioned game engines allow you to execute functions repeatedly, with certain delay between calls. In Unity you would use coroutines, while the same concept is available in GameMaker under the name of Alarms. A bit less graceful workaround, which is still better than nothing, could be implementing a cooldown in the functions that run every step. Using delays is an optimization tip which is specific to each project. You will need to identify problems in your code yourself. But let me introduce you to some examples so that you can have an easier time coping with this task. One of the big mistakes I made in Grizzland was activating objects inside of camera view every frame. Instead, it's better to activate a few extra objects outside of camera borders, but to do it less often. Coroutines and alarms can also be used to spread different tasks between frames instead of doing everything on one frame. For example, you may start the first alarm dedicated to the activation of objects with an initial delay of 15 frames and then repeat it every 60 frames. After that you'd start another alarm without delays and also repeat it every 60 frames, thus spreading them out. Another case from my game was checking for distance to a certain object. Right now the in-game secret magnet will check if you are close to any secrets and change its state only once a second. I also used to give smoke and bubbles certain chance per frame to spawn. It was stupid because I had to generate random numbers every frame. Instead, you can just set a random cooldown between the alarms. You should also consider whether you really need something to be as smooth as silk. Maybe you can get away with running certain code every second or every fourth frame, thus theoretically improving its performance by 50 or 75%. And that's it for today, take a look at your code and ask yourself, do I really need this thing to happen multiple times per second? Next time we'll talk about caching and further reducing the amount of code our game needs to execute repeatedly. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more concise and practical videos about game development and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.